All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC and another viewer request for uh, Engine 280 today on the Brooklyn map. So we've already got a large fire pulled up. Uh, I think it's a large industrial fire. Uh, we've got three engines and three ladders on scene, and uh, we're going to take uh, 280 as the fourth engine for the 1075. So let's go ahead and hop in the truck, and we'll get rolling all right, engine, parking brake, lights. We're parked behind uh, 234 at the moment and uh, the 234 123 station. I just wanted somewhere to put this thing for now. So that's where we're starting out at. And let's see, where's the fire at? Looks like down and to the right. Uh, the wrong way right here. So we're gonna have to do a little, uh, little finagling here to get to it, but that's okay. I I'm not really sure like uh, what way uh, 280 would come in officially onto the map. I don't remember. Nice horn. This is a good sounding engine. I, I don't think I've ever... Uh, I don't remember taking 280 out. I sure do, but it's a nice one. Let's see. Let's... Uh, Let's hang this right. I think this is Atlantic, right? Hopefully the fire won't burn out by the time we get there. I hope not. We seem to have the worst luck when it comes to that. Uh, we're on the back side of it. Okay, I see. Let's see, how can we get in here? I think 234 is going to be on the corner here. We kind of came in a little bit backwards to the way I wanted to, but that's all right. We're going to have to run against the grain here for a second. Come on, move out of the way. There shouldn't even be any cars on this road. Like, it's closed off. How did y'all get here? There we go. Nice. All right. Let's hop out and check it out real quick. See what's going on. I think for the 1075, if I read it correctly, we should have uh, four engines, three ladders, uh, a rescue or squad if available. So we don't have those, but I think we'll be all right. I, I don't want to mess around too much with this uh, um, and let the fire go out. You know, like that's kind of a big deal. So uh, we're going to need a supply. 222 was first due, so we're just gonna we're gonna get him set up uh, first thing. Go through this car. People parking in front of the hydrant, right? <laughs> you should go through it. It's it's a shame we can't like go through the windows. That would be funny. Yeah, here we go. And believe it or not, it is Friday. I hope you guys uh, had a good week. It hadn't been too bad. Not too bad for me. Went by uh, fairly quick. Got up, took the kids to school this morning. It was 40 degrees outside. I, <laughs> I loved it. It was really nice compared to like the teens and 20s we've had here lately. So, Which I know to a lot of you guys, teens and 20 uh, temperatures are nothing like. <laughs> They're probably like, you're big, baby. But in Texas, like, teens and 20s are a big deal. I'm not a fan. I'll say that. I'm not a fan of uh, low temperatures like that. All right, let's stretch the uh, attack line here. Get plenty going. Come on, Williams. Williams needs to do some cardio. Man, this place is well involved from, like, end to end. We may have to bust out the uh, the tower ladder here if we can. I don't know. I, I don't... Looks like it's all contained inside, so there's not like a lot of windows we can shoot through or anything. All right, let's drop you down here. And let's get our other end. You up on the side. Still waiting on the AI uh, update for Emerge NYC. I, I'm stoked. I can't wait. I wish it hurt. Oh, so laggy. Man, what was that about? 
been really laggy here lately. I don't know why. I, I don't know, like, what's changed. You know, I see a lot of people comment and they're like, hey, it's running really good for you. How is that? Well, not here lately, and I don't know why. I, I don't know what's going on. That's, uh, this changed, but it's been pretty dang laggy here lately. The, that's, where is the, uh, K-12? I guess it's on the other side. There it is. Press the K-12. Cut some doors out here. Oh man, yeah, it's really good. This is going good. Just gonna get one door. We're not going to worry about all of them. Here's really no point. All right, that should be good. Yeah, I may wind up having to bump my uh, graphics down a little bit for this game because uh, it was doing so good for a while, I bumped it up. I bumped it up, even uh, people made comment that, uh, hey, it's looking a little better on your system, and I'd bump, you know, I'd bumped everything up, but um, I don't know, I may have to bump it back down. Let's grab a hook. Oh, I see. This is like that big warehouse fire. I think we've been to something kind of similar to this. Get all the jaggies down. Come on. All the jaggies. All out of here. Nice. All right. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll sit him down by our saw. And grab our tight line. All right, give me some water. There you go. There comes your water. I don't think we're going to need the ladder, but we got lots of fires. Lots of fires in the structure. Need to practice my New York accent more. I do it because I love it. It's like a term of endearment. I think it's awesome. You can't play the FDNY and not do the New York accent. Like, it's like sacrilege. There we go. We're knocking it down really good in there. Sweet. Okay. Hit in the corner back there. Go ahead and hit the main bulk of it here. You know, I don't know if I've done this building before. I, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't look familiar. I mean, it kind of does, but then again, it doesn't. It's weird. Oof. Yeah, it's really going in there. A little first person here. Lots of uh, barrels and stuff in there. Could be some hazardous stuff. Looks like the water's wanting to make it in. There's lots of fires. Lots of fires in here. It's fully involved. Fully involved structure. Got engine 222 on scene. There we go, just went out all of a sudden. <laughs> it just, it's just like all or nothing. All right, let's see, let's hop up real quick. Anyway, I wanna thank you guys for the viewer requests. Like I've said it many times, uh, it helps a lot. I enjoy them. I enjoy them uh, doing these. Gives me a lot of ideas, uh, a lot of things that I don't generally think about. Oh. Dealing here. We may have to go up on the roof, actually. We may have to get the ladder. Or just not. There we go. It's like it's either like really stubborn and then it's not. <laughs> it's stubborn until it's not stubborn. Yeah, you got some fires up there. Ooh. To the other end here. We about got this under control.
Hopefully there's no victims in here, because I am bothered looking. I'm always gung-ho and putting the fire out. My right, victims can wait till later. Y'all know. Y'all know me. Victims can wait. I think we're good. I think we're getting it good here. Yes. We about got it. Cut the water off for now. I'm curious. Uh, you guys, like I said, you've always, y'all have taught me a whole lot about this, and I really do appreciate it. So I'm curious. Can a, can a firefighter, can can uh, guys with a hand line, can they enter a building on fire without the line charged? Or does it have to be charged? Like, I, I'm kind of curious about that. My thinking is you would never enter a burning building without your line charged, because you never know. Like, yeah, I'd be testing that thing out before you go inside, so... That's, uh, that's the question for today. Can you enter a building uh, without the line charged, or you have to charge it first and then go in? Come on. It's stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn fire. It looks like a closet. Oh yeah, it's all in the, uh, all on the roof. I was hoping to uh, get a couple fires in on this video, but uh, if we have to really work the roof, then it may take a while. It's, it's just really stubborn in here. Nice. All right. I like having to put water on a fire, though. You know, I like having to actually, you know, work with it for a bit. I mean, to me, it makes it more realistic. Oh, man. Yeah, it's really going in here. Maybe we can get it out. Yeah, really looking forward to the AI update, though. Then you can kind of take on more of a chief role. You know, you can take on the role of a chief and kind of just direct everyone. Yeah, this just isn't doing it. This isn't doing it at all. I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to go upstairs on the roof. That's all right. We got 50 bazillion ladders. I think we'll be okay. Good. Uh, we may have to set up the tower ladder. We may actually have to bust it out. That's all right. We don't hardly ever use it. And someone just asked about doing some tower ladder gameplay. Now we'll do a video. We'll do like a full video with the uh, with the tower ladder, but uh, we'll use it a little bit for this too. Saw another video the other night of a tower ladder putting out a some kind of little structure fire in in uh, New York somewhere, and uh, holy cow, they were blowing that building apart like no damn tomorrow. It was insane. I just I would love to know like what kind of water pressure comes out of those things because damn, I've seen them put like holes in roofs and blow down brick walls and, <laughs> like completely. You know, they uh, they can put out the fire and demolish the building at the same time. It's insane. They have a crazy amount of water pressure coming out. I, I want to know. If anyone knows, tell me what kind of water pressure we're talking about coming out of those things. I'm sure they can kind of regulate it a little bit, but literally, they were putting out this fire on a little brick building, and they were just blowing that thing apart like no tomorrow. Yes. Uh, no water. Why do we have no water? Okay, I think I know what I did. I think I know. Because I hooked the relay up on the other side, and I think it's pretending that the relay on the other side of the engine is an inlet instead of... It's an any instead of an Audi. We need an Audi. Um, go to the front, baby. Maybe that'll work. Got... Yeah, that all looks good. All right, let's try it now. There we go. That's exactly what it was. Exactly. Okay, we're good. Do our thing. Oh, it's in the ceiling. Okay. It's in the ceiling. It's not exactly on the roof. It's in the ceiling. Ceiling. I can't talk. It's in the ceiling. Well, damn. Um. You know what? We'll put some water on it just for the heck of it. We'll try. We'll see what it does. Maybe it'll do something. See, this would this would be where it would be cool if we could blow a hole in it. Doesn't look like it's having any effect, though. We have to go back downstairs. 
All right, we pulled the uh, the tower ladder back down for a moment. I tried a hand ladder. I had the worst luck with those things. Like, I can never, ever, ever get them positioned right. I need to read up on them a little bit and uh, figure that out. But I had the worst luck with them. I really just do. I need to take a day. I need to go to the training academy and just work with ladders. I think that would be a good episode. Let's just have a ladder episode. Like, just a regular old uh, ladder episode. All right, let's... Uh, Pop back up and do our thing here. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's burning in the roof pretty good. I think we're gonna have to uh, wind up pulling the roof. It's gonna be a really involved episode, unfortunately. I, I was wanting to do more stuff with 280, but I think this is gonna be about it. Oh, well, no, no, no. Uh, it sounds like it's going pretty good in there, honestly. Let's get our air on. Ever saw. Hopefully, we won't fall through the roof this time. We have done that before. <laughs> We've fallen through before. It's a bad day. I think the thing about the cutting the roof is it's just so random. Like, you really just don't know where your cuts are going. And it looks like we're just going to have to pretty much rip the whole dang roof out. You know what? Fine, then. We'll just do it. We'll rip the whole thing. We'll just cut back and forth. There we go. All right, this is the dicey part. Right? Oh yeah, it's still burning in the back too. Like, did it did it reignite inside? Because I kind of wonder. It looks like it kind of caught back up inside. Maybe. Oops. Do that. Your hook. You guys are seeing something very rare. You guys, you're seeing Spur doing roof ops. Like this never happens. This is super rare. Y'all are getting a bonus. There we go. Kind of burning up in there a little bit. Oh, what was that? Uh, uh, okay. It it put me back to 280. I don't know what that was about. Well, y'all wanted to see 280. We're back at it. <laughs> We're back on 280. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, this is an involved job. This is going to take a minute. I I think so. I wish I had a regular ladder up here now because the tower ladder is kind of a pain. We have to reposition someone over here. I think we're going to do that. Let's see. Who could we uh, who could we reposition? Got. Uh, we got that guy. That's 280. This is. Uh, Who's that? 176. Yeah. Let's move. Uh, let's move 176. Do 176. We'll put him. Put him right here. That way we'll have a good, uh, consistent access. You know, we won't have to reposition the tower ladder and all that stuff. All right, let's go back to. Uh, we'll go to 176 this time. I like 176. I think it's a really sharp, uh, really sharp truck. Looks good. Probably not legit. He'd probably be in full turnout. Oh, look at there. Mexican food and sandwiches. Sounds good. I'm kind of hungry this morning. A little bit. I had my uh, usual breakfast of uh, cheese that's in a Coke. You know, it's a breakfast of champions. What you like right here? And it does. It sounds like it's really going inside. Do we need to go back? Why did it do that? Does it keep taking me back to 280 for whatever reason? All right. Oh, that's not. Sometimes D. I wish they would standardize the uniforms. Like sometimes turnout is default. Sometimes, uh, you know, the shirt and pants or shorts or whatever is default. Like I wish it was. Uh, I wish it was standard across the board. I think that would be nice. All right, we're good. Let's go in. We'll try to hit it from the bottom. It looks like it's kind of opened up a little bit. This is a difficult fire, guys. Like, it 
it's it, uh, not necessarily difficult, but it's just taking a little work to uh, to get it. Still doesn't look like it wants to put it out. We may honestly have to do this from above because it looks like it's just not doing anything to it. All right, well, let's do this. Let's um. Oh, that's not what I need. I need it off. Now, okay. Now we're set. Maybe we can do it. Go up there with a hand line. Oh, what? What was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> We just got catapulted off the building. Oh man, when it rains, it pours, right? Uh, seriously. Come on, give us some, uh, give us some water. Put this back part here. All right, there we go. We got that out. I guess back up to the roof, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh. I hate it. Maybe it might bounce us off again. I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully not. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Grab the hand line. Get our water going. Nice. Come oh, on, this has got to do it right here. It's just not wanting to go out, guys. Like, I, I've hit it from the bottom. I've hit it from the top. Like, we've hit it from every angle we possibly could. And it's just not wanting to go out. Like, I don't understand. That's just like an incredibly stubborn fire. I can't get it to go out. Like I have tried everything under the sun to get this to go out. We may just have to pretend that we put it out because it is not going out. <laughs> this is like, this fire is really persistent and I don't think I can reach it with a pipe. Yeah, it's just not going out guys. We're going to call this one good. We'll let these other guys hang out behind and uh, keep working on it. Maybe they'll have better luck. I'm not having any luck. I can I put water on it every angle I can think of. Bottom, top, sideways, forwards, backwards. It's not working. <laughs> We've hit it every angle we possibly can. Uh, it's not effective. All right, we'll uh, we'll call this one good, and uh, we'll take 280 out, maybe to another call real quick. Man, look at those lights. Don't they look good? That's one thing that's always impressed me about emerging YCs, the lights always look so good. The, the lights in the water streams. The water stream just looks like, out of every game uh, that I've seen with that, um, it, it just looks like the water has more pressure to it. You know what I'm saying? Like some of the other games, the water just looks like it's just kind of, it's like a garden hose. But uh, on emerging YC, the water looks like it has a little pressure to it. All right, anyway, uh, we just got uh, our last call. Oh, was, uh, the dump truck, seriously, man. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a call for um, a garage on fire. So it should be a small little fire. Ladder 176 is already on the way. The other guys are still at the other scene. They're, they're still overhauling. So while we're out, right? Should be there shortly. Man, I'm digging the nighttime look. All right, there's gonna be another one on Atlantic Avenue. Atlantic stays busy. We'll run. Uh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you guys, you crazy AI guys. I was going to run w wrong way down the street because it's on this side. Oh, nice. There's one seven six just now pulling up. Cool. Oh, that's pretty sharp. I like that. Here we go. 
Oh uh, yeah, we got some fires. We got a working fire. Absolutely. We're not going to bother with everyone else, so we'll do it. We'll do it with the ladder and us. Be a problem. All right, you guys know the routine. Hydrant wrench. If I've learned anything in this game, it's definitely how to establish water supply. I think I pretty well mastered that routine. You go in. All right, what do we got? Uh, two roll-up doors, of course. Looks like it's going pretty good in there. Lights go in here. Uh, rear exposure looks all right. All right, well, let's grab a saw. Start cutting. Uh, we'll get this one. You see about doing a church fire again. That popped up for me when I was forcing the calls. I almost wanted to do it, but it's so it's so time consuming and we've already been in this video for a little while. This one's already going to be kind of a longer video. Grab this pike since it's the closest. Do the thing. Doesn't look like it wants to have much luck with it there. Seems like I always have better luck with the hook than the pike clearing these doors out. All right, let's put him back real quick. Get the hook. If there's a big difference, I think there is. I think there's definitely a difference. Oh yeah. Hook always does really good on these doors. No why I bothered with the pike. I guess I forgot. Alright, there we go. Let's get us some tack line. Alright, I think we're good now. Alright, let's hit it. That's a quick knock. Worried about the roof though. That concerns me a little bit. All right, I think we're good down there. What's going on up here? Yeah, I don't know, guys. I the the roof like. I'm just not able to put them out for whatever reason. I just can't get them put out to save my life. I, I don't know what's changed. All right, let's go see if we can get this put out. Hopefully, hopefully. He does here. Oh, charge. Nice. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're having effect. Looks like we're definitely having some effect on it. I think we are. I think we're good now. Good, guys. It's been a busy day. Pretty involved. Some stubborn fires. Stubborn fires. Still got some smoke coming up right here, though. It kind of looks like it's wanting to do like the other building did. Yeah, we still got the stubborn ceiling fires. I don't... Maybe we're kind of... It looks like maybe we're getting it. 
I see steam coming off of it, but it's just not. It's just not doing it. Yeah, it's just really just not doing it. It looked like it had some steam, but maybe not. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think we're just going to have to end it on this. Maybe role play someone else getting it because I can't get it to go out. This is something new. I've never encountered this before. I don't know what's going on with it. I mean, the ceiling's already pulled. We should have access to it. I know for a fact from the other building, if we cut the roof and get it from that way, it's not going to do anything either. So anyway, we're going to pretend someone else is going to take care of that. But damn, that sure does look good going out facing the truck with the lights and everything. That is pretty damn sweet. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever run into this issue as well. Maybe this is something new. Uh, and with all that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.